I remember where I was on September 11th, 2001. Um, it's now 1 o'clock in the morning on September 11th, 10 years later. Um, I was, it was my sophomore year of college at the University of Delaware, and I had just walked into the um, Wrestle Dining Hall over, at the, over on the, the East Campus. I sat, I was going through that line, I think I went to the egg station. Uh, the, you know, eggs are very hard, they always used, to, always used to get. And I remember hearing some, the DJ on the, on the radio say something about like how the plane had hit the World Trade Center. They had, at that point, they had thought it was a small prop plane. And so everyone was kind of, it was a buzz in the, um, in the cafeteria about how, what was going on and whatnot. Um, sat down, could still hear the radio, and then I remember hearing them say, holy crap, so another plane had hit the World Trade Center, and that, you know, this was not a small plane, it was a jumbo jet, and that we were under attack, this was a terrorist attack. Um, at that point, neither of the towers had gone, had gone um, down, uh, the Pentagon hadn't been hit, and the plane had gone down out in um, Pennsylvania yet. So I um, still kind of shocked. I um, got up, left, promptly left my bag with all my books at the dining hall, rode all the way to class, realized I had forgotten my books, Got went back, got my books, and went back to math class. Before the teacher came in, we all were talking, kind of buzzed, like, did you hear, did you hear? Um, teacher, the math teacher just went on in the class, like nothing had ever happened. So I, I, I have never benefited the doubt, I think she didn't know anything about it at the time. Um, next class was an intro to psychology with um, Professor Geiza. It was a 400 person class, so a big stadium seating in the Smith um, building. Um, and so I was, for some reason, I always sat in the front row. Like, it's a good student that I was. I always like being in the front row so that the professors would know me and all that. For some reason, I sat in the middle of the, of the room that day. I don't know why. And I her walking in, the class was filled up, and she said, before class gets started, I have something to tell you, I'm not sure if you guys want to continue class, and you might have already know what's going on, but, you know, she, and then at that point she said, you know, the planes hit the World Trade Centers, but each tower had been hit by a, a, a jumbo jet, a, a, um, a, this is the first time I heard about the, the um, Pentagon and the, um, and the, um, Pennsylvania crash. Um, he says two planes had hit the World Trade Center. Both towers have collapsed. A plane has hit the um, Pentagon, and a plane had crashed in um, crashed in um, Pennsylvania, suspected of going to hit the White House or the Capitol building. Um, she said, "You know, we'll take a vote if you want to continue class. Cause sometimes people want to continue class, and as things, you know, the way things are, to deal with the grief." At that point, I remember seeing a girl run out of the room bawling, and I could, that's ingrained in my mind so much that I get, like, you know, like, this wasn't someone that she loved, could have just died that day. Um, and I would, the class, pretty much unanimously voted to keep the class going, which the professor, Geyser, said, all right, but if anyone wants to leave, you can leave and go and deal with, you know, whatever the heck's going on with you, you know, whatever's going on with you, if you want to go home and figure stuff out. So I decided to stay for a little while, and then the curiosity kind of got the best of me, because, I mean, I hadn't seen any of this stuff, you know, I hadn't seen the t any any images of, at this point. And the first thing that when I heard about all these, you know, planes crashing into things, I um, immediately, immediately thought Tom Clancy's book, Executive Orders, and how um, a, a terrorist takes over a plane and crushes it into the capital when everyone, all the politicians are there killing the whole government pretty much. So I was like, you know, right out of a Tom Clancy novel, went back to the dorm room, decided to go back to the dorm room, went back to the dorm room, and just watched the rest of the day. We were all, all our doors were open, we were all talking to each other, like, and then, then like, dumbfounded. He didn't really hit us. Um, I know at the University of Delaware Review, the student newspaper, um, it was an independent newspaper, but it was run by, but it was run by the journalism department, and, um, students. He had sent some kids up there to um, cover the event. He's trying to get in New York City and cover it. 
um, I was lucky enough to co cover the um, the vigil both that year and the year after um, that was held on campus at the University of Delaware. Um, Delaware had a lot of um, people from New York that went to that, that you know, to the university. So you know, a lot of people had family members who died in this. One of my good friends, her her aunt was on one that had jet planes out of Boston. You know, obviously didn't make it. Um, I just remember, you know, later on in life, you know, I was working at the, um, at the, um, at the Hanover Evening Sun, and I think it was the fifth anniversary, and they were holding stuff going, you know, five years have passed, and I got to write that article as well, and I have these articles, and I hold them really dear to myself, because, like, I, it's the way I dealt with it, um, but to this day, you know, all these, all these shows, that, you know, they've been showing over the past few weeks, about 9-11, the building of the, of the, um, Memorial Park and all that, and the new Freedom Tower. Looking at that, and you know, I remember that day. I remember how gorgeous the day was, and how like something so sinister happened on that on that day. And it just, you never, it never leaves you. It never leaves you. So that's what that's my story of of nine eleven. Love to hear from you guys. Put your comments in the in the below. Let me know where you were on September 11th, 2001, and what you remember. Um, God bless America. God bless the world. Um, you know, never forget. I will, I will never forget. And I don't think most people that were around then will ever forget. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.